Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wickham Zool. I'm your host, Scott Ramp. I have a lot to talk about today. we got some news items talking about the Manchester bombing. We're going to be talking about um, all sorts of weather that is happening. The uh, election that is tomorrow, so you guys got to understand that this election is coming up hot, and it's going to be happening whether you like it or not. So uh, the, uh, the race between Rob Quist and Greg Gianforte is heating up as we are diving into the final days, two days, of the election. So if you haven't mailed in your mail-in ballot, today would be that day to mail it in. Um, but of course, you can't mail in after five. I think you still be, might be able to mail it in, but anything later than today, it may not actually get through. So you may have to go to your polling places, which um, here in Missoula is at the Missoula County Fairgrounds. But I just wanted to give that little side note. I have a stop animation move of the week. Uh, for the last, for the next two weeks, that's it. No more stop animation from me. I'll have some stop animation from our uh, summer camps as well, and I'll talk a little bit more about all the MCAT stuff a little bit later. Let's kick it off with a little bit of weather. So if you guys are planning on being out and about, be advised that there is a wind advisory warning going on today. But you have your high temperatures of 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Your lows are going to be your 40s. Um, your highs on Thursday are going to be 64 with that 40% um, chance of showers that are going to basically transition from tonight into Thursday. Um, Friday, you have that slight chance of showers with an even slighter chance of thunderstorms. We haven't even seen too many major thunderstorms um, too, too badly. Um, this Saturday is going to be mostly sunny, but most of the people will be pretty much indoors this weekend, and I'll tell you why. Um, Missoula will be hosting Miss Con, which is the uh, Missoula Comic Con that happens every year. And this year, they're going to be at the uh, the Holiday Inn Express, the B Brooks and Browns um, area. So you guys um, will have four days to check it out. It's going to be a Friday through Monday, Memorial Day weekend. Um, they start on Friday. A lot of the MCPS schools are having a PIR day. So a lot of the kids get the day off for Friday. So it's basically a four-day um, four weekend for a lot of the kids. So a lot of the kids have the opportunity to go check out Miss Con starting Friday and going out through the weekend. So that's uh, that's just a little side note, giving a little plug because MCAT will be at the uh, um, the Miss Con at the Miss Con this year. So let's talk about a little thing about what uh, in terms of news what's happening. I'm going to transition to this camera. So uh, the University of Montana is looking f uh, to buy out 48. Uh, faculty members um, who are tenured, uh, who are also 65 years or older. The university is working on a way to um, deal with certain budget cuts and bud budget issues they've had since uh, drop in enrollment. Uh, the faculty members who opt out for the uh, for this buyer will have um, until um, July 17th to terminate. The that's the termination date, according to uh, offers, which is 50% of their salary this school year or a package deal to buy them out completely. Any in interest parties must contact UM officials by May 31st of this month. The UM would save $4 million a year with this plan, and UM has estimated it needs to cut 80 to 100 faculty members uh, altogether to accomplish this. Um, with drastic changes in faculty, it could also affect enrollment because some classes the kids were coming to the University of Montana to study would no longer be offered. Um, the reason UM is offering buyouts in enrollment is they had a decline of 24% of enrollment since 2010, which has hurt its budget. Um, some faculty members may leave the university on their own, but this buyout is an only volunteer-based, um, so no one is being forced out. And the University of Montana is not only looking for this $4 million um, relief, they're also figure, trying to figure out ways to uh, cut out about $10 million um, of, of their spending budget. Okay, so in the state, this election uh, thing in Montana has gathered national attention, and we are uh, for one big election on Thursday, May 25th, which is tomorrow. Uh, the New York Times wrote a nice little article about Montana, quite a little stinker um, when it comes to the big uh, swing state. Um, when, uh, with people in Montana tend to lean m more with their gut than with their individual party line, but Montana has pretty much been a red state in terms of national um, w in national ways, even though we do have a Democratic governor. It's, it's really weird. So Greg Gianforte uh, said right away that he was going to work with President Trump from the start. 
um, and has gotten endorsement from many Republicans, inclu including Trump Jr. coming down to um, the state of Montana and rallying a bunch of places in and around the state. Um, one major difference in this election is that Jane Forte has um, been pumping out so many ads against Rob Chris saying anything or that may or may not stick for some people. Um, New York Times were quoted in stating, the state runs red and Mr. Trump won here by 20 points in November. But Montanans are famously independent, a traditional tradition strengthened during the days when a copper company ran state politics, feeling a strong labor culture and a distrust of corporations. People here have often refused political labels, split tickets, and voted person over party. Um, I'm not I'm not saying you should vote for one over the other. Um, this this uh, this kind of highlighted a lot of Greg Gianforte being mostly just like a kind of like a Trump clone in a way. Um, this is from the New York Times. This is basically kind of what I discern from their article. Um, it being, of course, it would be. Uh, well, of course, would he share that with... Okay, so the thing is, is one good note about Gene Forte's campaign is that he is a businessman who knows how to make money. But whether or not he's going to use that to uh, benefit the state of Montana, who knows? That's the thing. Um, I like government uh, to, to a certain point, but everybody has a breaking point. And once this election is over tomorrow night, we will find out what Montana values the most. So we'll figure out... But of course, that's basically kind of like more like... Um, national rather than kind of like what we actually value so it doesn't really matter who who we uh choose it doesn't really define us a lot of times um but it you know they will just like say oh yeah they're because of this and this and this okay in other news um 22 people are reported dead in a bombing that happened earlier this week during an uh, ariana grande concert um in manchester england um with a suicide bombing that took place around 10 p.m and law enforcement has raised the threat uh, level to the uh, area to critical. A 23-year-old in, uh, in connection to the bombing has been arrested. Um, 59 people reported hurt and are being taken care of uh, in medical fa facilities across Manchester. The BBC understands that the perpetrator was British or from the UK. Greater Manchester Police uh, Constable Ian Hopkins says that a fast-moving investigation was now working to uh, establish whether the attacker was acting alone or was part of a network. Officers um, have carried out raids at two properties, one uh, in Whaley Range and one in Fallowfield, where a controlled explosion was carried out. In the latest statement, the force said that the area around the air arena remained um, quarantined off but said it wanted to uh, remind people that Manchester will not be defeated. The city is open for business. Okay, and that basically concludes everything that you need to know what's happening in and around Missoula and the, the world. Um, so uh, here are some new programmings that are going to be on MCAT. And when we come back, I have a poetry slam for you. Remedial investigation and field study. This is where the data is collected about the site and its environmental hazards and where different possible cleanup approaches are considered. Within the site itself, it may be broken up into operable units. What do you think operable units is abbreviated to? OU? That doesn't o seem that long. OU. That's a really short, a little baby acronym. So there are OUs within the bigger cleanup site. Step two, decide. A record of decision is issued by the agency choosing the cleanup method for each OU. The reasons are set forth in this rod. There's and I, by the Austin world, I mean two different but related things. First of all, I mean the world of the novels. Uh, not so much the historical world she lived in, but the world that the novels create out of that world, uh, which is a world that's conducted in uh, feminized spaces, right? And generally in domestic spaces, in the ballroom and uh, rather the, you know, the drawing room and so forth. But, but even more, it's a world of uh, 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 not just of uh, physically feminine or feminized spaces, but socially feminized spaces. It's a world, I mean, even though we think of them as romance novels where the main business is between the hero and the heroine, really it's a, it's a social world of women, I right? I this, but boy, in San Diego, uh, I helped facilitate one of the Alzheimer's disease uh, support groups, and we had more spouses in there of spouses who clearly had a dementia that were not willing to accept that they had a dementia and the support group was not for the person with Alzheimer's disease, it was really for the family and the supporting groups. We should be fueling our bodies with the highest quality. It doesn't need to be 
$100,000 like a Porsche car. But it, it, we shouldn't complain if it costs twice as much. When we see our show tickets, what we spend on our entertainment has doubled and tripled and quadrupled, and hardly anybody complains about that. But when the food doubles, you think that this, it's almost a riot. And yet what we need to do, in my mind, is to link the value of the food to real value in nutrition. You can't just be in a nice wrapper and say organic and say, we can have an organic Twinkie, for heaven's sakes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have to be careful where we're going with this. But and if you want a vampire energies, we got the garlic and the water. Transform what the alchemy. <laughs> Give it up for Brady. So, uh... One of the first poetry slams I ever attended was here in Missoula, and it was hosted by Taj, so give it up for Taj. Give it up for the Top Hat for having everybody here tonight. Give it up for all the poets, please. Give it up for yourself. You're all a beautiful crowd. So this is the first poem that I did after returning back to Montana after traveling all around the United States. This poem is called, How to Kill a City Mouse in Conrad, Montana. Television and the many supporters of uh, community programming, we wouldn't be able to do that. So thanks, MCAT. Happy birthday. Lovely to see you all. And we'll see you on Monday night. So again, thank you, MCAT, for all that you do for this community. And we look forward to another uh, three decades. And congratulations on MCAT for 27 years. And let's keep it going for many, many more. So again, congratulations to MCAT on 27 years of service to the community. We're hoping for many, many, many more. So we're so grateful. Thank you, MCAT. Love you guys. And nobody does a better job of informing, empowering, and engaging people than MCAT. So happy birthday, MCAT. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, sorry about that. I'm back and I have a nice little poetry slam for you. I wake up this morning to express Missoula from the warming weather to the cooling breeze that we're we'll have another for a few weeks before the heats uh, starting swarming the skies, their dragon breath. Fires are coming, have already been stopped from the edge of Montana to the heart of the nation. Where's the heart gone, some people may say. Away, away, fly away to Canada for spring-summer change. We will promise change, but we cannot deal in it. Unless it impacts us favorably, but becomes our enemy. Who is our enemy today? Well, you probably know that. You can call that a fact. Some people can't make a pact. Some people you want to sack for all those promises and words, but we we still have common sense. The weather may be changing, but we're used to that. But people not changing will always be there. Sometimes you always have to give them a condescending stare. All right, <laughs> that was a mess. Anyway, so that was a little uh, taste of Poetry Slam. And as you saw from the, just the previous little uh, PSA, little uh, highlight video of our party, that was our MCAT 
27th anniversary party, rebranding, structuring, Missoula's community media resource is our new name and everything. That sounds more like a poetry slam than my attempt right there. Anyways, uh, so let's talk about kind of like the, some of the stuff that's happening um, for MCAT. Um, our summer camps are f uh, full in terms of our zombie camp. So if you're planning on doing our zombie camp this year, it's completely full. But we still have our Raptors of the Rocky, our animation camp, and a media camp for you guys. So if you want to find out more information, you go on to MCAT.org. MCAT.org is your uh, resource to find out more information about um, Missoula local programming, along with some um, camps, educational programs, um, hours uh, in our facilities, and when we operate, when we allow uh, the p when we open to the public, so anyone can come down here, check out camera equipment and gear, so they can make their own videos. The only stipulation is that you have to provide MCAT with some form of video if you're uh, going to check out video equipment. So, um, if you want to find out more information, go to MCAT.org. If you want to find out more about summer camps, you click on the summer camp. Um, thumbnail, which is basically this whole entire picture right here, so you can't miss it, you can click on this, and it'll bring you to a website where you can sign up for any of these camps, and you just have to sign up for a submittable online, to, and it, it'll basically ask all the questions that you, uh, will, uh, will answer all the questions you ask, that you ask. Ugh, that was rough. All right, so anyways, moving on. Um, uh, da -da -da -da. Oh yeah, here are some of the, uh, um, here's a highlight from last year's um, um, zombie camp. Um, I do have a nice little uh, highlight of last year's zombie camp. This year we're going to try to uh, figure out a different way of doing it and we're always looking for uh, people to uh, play zombies. So we're going to be doing a Z day, a zombie day on Tuesday, August 1st. So we'll be uh, pushing that a little bit more as we get further into it. So without further ado, here's a little clip from last year's Afternoon of the Living Dead. Man, what I wouldn't give for a cheeseburger right now. Well, that's all over now. Lettuce, bacon, tomato. Wait. Listen. Let's go. So that was that. Um, so you can watch the whole movie anytime, anywhere, by logging, by looking it up on MCAT Television, MCAT TV, on YouTube under Afternoon of the Living Dead. It's a nice little 15, 16 minute short um, video that the kids worked really hard on and we hope that you enjoy. We make this for the kids and how to get kids to work together on a team building exercise to make in a movie. Well, I said that really well. Anyways, uh, I have a new stop animation video of the week. It is the second to the last of all the stop animation movies I'm going to make of this particular series. I don't know if I'm ever going to come back to any animation or anything like that because it's taxing. It's hard and it's like, oh, you should do it at uh, 30 frames a second. I was like, oh, uh, yeah, forget it. And without further ado, here is The Last Part One. Excuse me. Were you doing modifications on my robot? Don't speak to me unless spoken to. And yes, what's the big deal? Any kind of miscalibration can ruin the robot. Hey, over here. How do you sleep at night? You can't sleep when you're dead. And they fund my projects. Now you listen here. I will not be pushed around any longer. Well, 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 Mr. Mayor. You trying to tell us what to do? I'm tired of covering up your dirty operations. I'm going public as soon as possible. <laughs> what the? No, wait! You're a monster! You're a... <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you, Professor. There's gotta be some way out of here. All right, boys, now listen up. The plan's pretty clear. We're gonna ambush them in the middle of <sighs> the ship. I don't know about this. I think something's gonna go wrong. Listen, Rusty, we've planned for all this. All of this. That's why our backup plans have backup plans. Y'all can count on me. Yeah, and I've got the perfect set for these jokers. That's what I like <laughs> to hear. As long as we got teamwork, we got a chance. 
<laughs> That's what I like to hear. Once we get all in there, we're all gonna get out of there. Excuse what? Excuse me, we have absolute zero chance. Huh. Now you listen here, I got my angry face on. We need everybody's head in the game. What's your problem? Whoa, we're on the same team. You angry now? Of course I am. Huh. Good. I'm all ready, sir. Good. This plan would be nothing without you. Thank you for your service. And don't worry about your well-being. We got you handled. You can count on us, Connor. Look who decided to show up. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Sorry I'm late. I couldn't find anything black. Maybe we should just leave him behind. He's dead weight. Dude! Like I said, I don't care who your daddy is. <laughs> Thanks, that means a lot. All right, boys, let's fall out. <laughs> yeah! This goes right. You have your daddy back by supper. All right, brother. It's on you now. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, I won't let you down, I think. Don't worry. We'll get your dad back. I know. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> Let's do this thing. You're going to be all right? We got your back, no matter what. I just hope everyone will be in position in time. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing over there? Yar, uh, nothing, sir. Um, I'm just, you know, hanging out Will you corner. just leave him alone? I don't like the way this guy looks. Speak for yourself. All right, guys, stay on your toes. Hold on there, buckaroo. Who are these guys? Uh, <laughs> they're my posse. You have to bother everyone that walks in here? What's your problem? I've got trust issues. That was a close we one. better stay on your toes. Well, get on with it. Get on stage. <laughs> I've got separation okay. anxiety. Oh, down. Jeez. <laughs> Not even a good intro. <laughs> I was walking down the street the other day, and I noticed that there was no trash on the streets. <laughs> They must have all come to this stump. <laughs> <laughs> but to be serious for a second. Okay, I'm done. The streets are looking pretty good. For a pirate. Excuse what? me. What, you gotta steal the Declaration of Independence or something? Oh, yeah, I, uh, um, uh, it's, uh... <laughs> uh, Sir, why don't you just sit down? Okay. He just showed him. He gets funnier every time. <laughs> <laughs> Did they just come out with another Pirates movie? Can't wait to see that. No. <laughs> Excuse me, what are you guys doing out here? We're just getting some fresh air. Where'd you come from? This is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> How do you become a pirate? No, let me rephrase that question. How do you become a pirate when you're surrounded by the Great Lakes and not, you know, the ocean? And speaking of surrounded, <laughs> you guys are surrounded. Uh... Yeah, I know that wasn't funny. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's talk about some events that are happening in and around Missoula. Let's kick it off with a little bit of Kid Bounce and Playtime over at uh, the Missoula Indoor Sports Arena. They provide an open play for the entire family, including the Inflata Park for kids aged 2 to 12. Open play hours are between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., Monday through Saturday, 4 p.m. to 6.30 p.m., and then Monday through Thursday for their uh, late night hours. Um, open hours in the maker spaces of the Missoula Public Library. If you're interested in this time, they'll allow visitors to explore resources in the maker space, learn how to use equipment, or to work on a project of their choice. There's so many things there. There's computers, and not, oh, excuse me, and not to mention all sorts of uh, 3D printing fun. Um, preschool playgroup, Roots Acro Sports Center, walking to five years of age, get to do some tumble and learn to um, w use their bodies in terms of bouncing, jumping, flipping, and doing all sorts of um, gymnastic stuff because um, as the kids uh, develop their basic motor skills, why not have them, you know, be awesome before anything else. <laughs> so they do this. It's $8 per drop-in and $12 for siblings. Um, but yeah, you can do games, trampoline, swinging, sliding, all sorts of kind of like uh, foam pitted um, fun. Um, there's parachute play at the family's first children's museum. I got to give a shout out to those guys. Um, from 10 a.m. to 11.30, they're going to be basically playing with a giant parachute. It builds children's language and social skills, shows off how to take turns, and teaches importance of listening. Plus, it's a whole lot of fun. I, I don't know about anything about listening, but I guess um, learning to non-verbally communicate with each other to make sure that the uh, parachute is awesome. Because, you know, anybody who's played with a parachute is lucky because it's pretty sweet to do that. Um, communication practice group at the Jeanette Rankin Peace Center is happening at 12 p.m. Um, compassionate communication practice group uh, open to all ages no experience necessary and it's free 
Um, and it happens from noon to 1 p.m. And you should bring lunch. Uh, it's also known as nonviolent communication. And it's um, facilitated by Patrick Marcellic. Um, learn to sew. Um, aprons at the Confident Stitch. Come to learn a sh uh, Come to uh, sew. Uh, come. Okay, so basically you get to learn, learn how to sew an apron. A oh God, I can't say this. Um, I'll show you to skip. I was just skipping. It's an apron. Apron class. You learn to sew an apron. And it's at the Confident Stitch at 6 p.m. Check it out. Um, adult hip hop classes at the Mask Studio. Um, there's dance instructor Sailor Pace teaches fresh hip hop dance choreography for all. Learn to move and shake your body with our new old hip hop hints. Um, the class is open to all skill levels, whether you're brand new to the busting to move or have ha have been rocking the floors since 1999. So this is an adult hip hop class Saturday at 6:30 at the Mask Studio. Mask is another place where people do those. Um, I can't really think of it. It's like flag dancing. Uh, I can't really. I mean, I'm just like way up. Silk screening. No, not silk screening. That's a shirt making thing. Silk dancing or whatever. You know, it's like those giant like silk things hanging from the hanging from the rafters, and people are just climbing up there. It's like, woo, look at me. I'm like float. I'm flying. Okay, so they're having that. Um, that's kind of what the mask studio is known for, but they have a bunch of other dance classes as well. Um, here is sharing the groove. Uh, if you guys are interested in doing a, a happy hour uh, this after this this night, the Top Hat Lounge hosts sharing the groove, uh, sharing the music of fish. Um, you listen to fish music and you just drink. Hang out, whatever. Imagine Jam Society, Public Jam Imagination Brewing Company, is doing a open jam for anybody who likes to play music. Particularly, bluegrass is what they're looking for. So if you're a bluegrass player and you want to play with others, that's at 6 p.m. at the Imagination Brewing Company. Jazz Night at the Top Hat Lounge starts at 7. Um, country Dance Lessons uh, with Kathy Clark is happening at the Sunrise Saloon at 7 p.m. Crap Toast at Karaoke. Um, Karaoke Contest, Eagles Lodge, Badlander, and Sunrise Saloon all have karaoke happening tonight as well. I have an art clip. This is the last time I'll be able to show this particular art clip from the Clay Studio of Missoula. So you guys got to check this out before it's too late. It's pretty cool. It kind of tells a story through uh, claymation and uh, clay work. Hey guys, welcome back. And now let's uh, finish up some of your events that are happening in and around Missoula for your Thursday. This is happening tomorrow um, morning at 11 a.m. I don't know if I can even call it morning if it's 11 a.m. Um, Little Bugs Early Education Program. Little Bugs is a full hour of early childhood education in the Missoula Butterfly House, otherwise known as the Missoula Insectarium. Classroom for children five or younger and their parents. Enjoy exciting programming and exploration tailored for just for youngsters and their parents. Each week there will be a new theme with exciting bug and bass to hold touch and a short story time uh, filled with games and crafts uh, it's free for the cost of admission uh, it's four dollars for anyone um, over the age of three and learn to play and learn and touch some bugs um, meditation for veterans the learning center center red red willow is doing a meditation for veterans with Glenn um, so this is happening Thursdays from 1 to 1 45 p.m. it's an ongoing class it's free for veterans um, course location is the Missoula Vet Center at 910 Brooks Montana meditation for vets is a guide 
guided mindfulness practice that's one the method of paying attention to the to breathe um, increase calm and reduce stress no previous experience necessary so uh, also later this afternoon it's buried in treasures uh, group to address hoarding behavior. St. Paul Lutheran Church will be working with uh, people in the community to work on their hoarding issue. This program offers a 16-week course that is based on the book Buried in Treasures. Um, join the group as created by and for people who are ready to live a less cluttered life. And this is happening um, um, pretty much at the St. Paul Lutheran Church, which is 202 Brook Street, Missoula, Montana. Um, the sessions start um, tomorrow at 3 p.m. and go until 5 p.m. But of course, it's every Thursday for 16 weeks, and it figures out how to let go. All right, so Missoula Computer Electronics in the Makerspace, um, Missoula Public Library. Do you have interest in in um, Adoria Adorno? Uh, Jeez, a Dorino uh, platform. Come in and try out the this and other electronic platforms during the computer electronics time. And this happened from 3 to 6 p.m. at the at the um, at the Missoula Public Library's makerspace. It's basically on the on um, the very bottom floor of the Missoula Public Library near the computer lab. Basically across from the computer lab, but you can't miss it. Um, Missoula Insectarium is doing native plants and pollinators are BFFs. Um, native plants and pollinators have coexisted over a millennia. You can say that they are BFFs. This week, will they will be exploring native plants such as an attractive and advantage um, choice to have in your yard. Um, you'll be making a tissue paper uh, paper called Blanket Flower, a local favorite of pollinators and humans like uh, you can come anytime between 3 and 5 p.m. at the Missoula Insectarium to learn about the native plants and pollinators and learn how to attract them. Um, to imp Basically, it helps improve your garden and all that stuff. So if you have a garden, be like, oh, my garden has flowers and, you know, blah, 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 and they're not doing that well. It's like, well, you should get some pollinators. It's like, oh, that's a good idea. Okay, so rope course open climb at McCormick Park. You can practice skills on a high slack line, learn how to ascend a rope or belay, or just have some fun climbing new heights. And this is from 5 to 8 p.m. every Thursday throughout the summer. $5 suggested donation is outside in McCormick Park. They have a, a bunch of those really tall little rope climbing structures. So you can climb some rope, do all sorts of fun uh, high uh, area thing. Uh, <laughs> Spring Flower Crown Workshop is that the uh, the Buttercup Cafe and Market. Um, you get an herbalist and owner of the earth within flowers. Take home a headpiece made from local wildflower herbs and farm cutting flowers. So this happened at 6 p.m. tomorrow. Um, the last thing I have in terms of um, highlighted events is a reading that's happening at Shakespeare and Company at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Um, the UM alumni and uh, a UM alum and Outgoing Montana Book Festival director Rachel Matt Middle uh, and Missoula Renaissance woman Jerry Montgomery join for the poetry reading starting at 7 p.m. Uh, Rachel Mendel is a writer and teacher originally from Tucson, Arizona. Her chapbook, A Teardrop and a Bullet, was released last year by Dancing Girl Press. Individual poems have appeared in um, Pool Diagram, um, Bombay Gin Boat, and elsewhere. Um, Jenny Montgomery will read new work as well as poems from her chapbook, Hatch Exploring a Children's Near-Death Experience and Exuberant Embrace of Life and Language. The poems free us to lighten up about death and disability even as we comfort their mysteries. Um, I said that somewhat decently. But you can find out more information about this and more by going on to MissoulaEvents.net. Um, that's going to be a poetry reading at Shakespeare and Company. It's off of 3rd Street, basically a kitty corner from Bernice's Bakery. Roughly, like really roughly. But it's basically on the 3rd um, and Brooks blockage, but it's on the... Third Street facing. Um, moving on, here are some of your Thursday night events. If you like a uh, loose string band, um, the Draftworks Brewing Company is the place for you, starting at 6 p.m. Um, country Dance Lesson with Instructor Kathy Clark. So if you missed it on a Wednesday, you can always go on Thursday. Um, the Shins is going to be playing at the Wilma Theater. It's a rock band. Uh, the New Moon Sound Bath is the women's club. They're doing some uh, just yoga. Never mind. Forget it. I hate... <sighs> Like, if you want yoga, you can find yoga. You don't need more uh, people telling you that you should go to the yoga thing. Um, live jazz is happening at Plonk at 8 p.m. Honeycomb is going to be a DJ at Monks at 9 p.m. Open mic, the Broadway Inn at 9 p.m. Rocking karaoke with uh, Aaron B. Rocks to get that karaoke fix 
for your middle of the week happening at the Dark Horse, which is basically Sunrise Saloon next door. Um, Ticket Sauce is happening at the Top Out Lounge tomorrow night at 10 p.m. And it's going to be rock music. But that concludes everything that you guys need to know about Missoula and what's happening in Missoula in terms of events. And you can find more information by going to MissoulaEvents.net. You can always watch um, our... Um, our carousel channel, which is our channel between programs on MCAT channel 189 and 190 for all your events, listings, and more, including weather, time, and all sorts of wonderful things that uh, the community uh, gives to us for us to air. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for events. I do have another art clip for you guys. It is from the Missouri Art Museum. It is wonderful, and it's basically Rudy Audio Family Collection, and it's going to be at the MAM until uh, June 24th. So we have a month, another month of this art installation, and when we come back, I have some city council news to tell you, but I don't have any city council clips to show you. While the city moves forward on acquiring the Mountain Water Company, which will be ca called Missoula Water Company, and here is some of the uh, brief news. Um, but of course, if you, um, if you, uh, of course, he didn't miss much from Monday's meeting. It was what I'm trying to say. A uh, couple granny apartments and rezonings. Woo! Uh, but the meeting was less than an hour and didn't discuss anything too pressing. But they are hosting a special meeting tomorrow at uh, the city council chambers. I believe it's around 3 p.m. Let me just double check. Da, 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 da. But they're going to be talking about um, the wa mountain water and Liberty utility. They're figuring out um, because Liberty is now be be being uh, is cooperating with the city of Missoula during the transition. It's happening at 3 p.m. I was right. 3 p.m. Uh, the city of Missoula and Liberty Utilities have reached an agreement that will finalize the city's right to acquire Missoula's water system from Mountain Water Company as previously ordered and affirmed by the courts. The agreement will end in further uh, litigations regarding the city's right to ownership and of assets of the uh, Mountain Water Company and will ensure an orderly and smooth transition to city stewardship of its precious nat natural resource. The city and Liberty Utilities have agreed on terms that they are consi um, consistent with plans that the city leadership has proposed and presented to the Missoula City Council in recent months. They believe that the agreement will result in the seamless transition for water utility customers, employees, and developers. Uh, the city will make payments to Mountain Water in the amount of $83.7 million. In addition, the city will make payments to name uh, to named parties in the developer's case, Carlisle's for its attorney's fees, and Liberty Utility Park for uh, transi transitional services. Um, these additional payments bring the total settlement to $96.4 million. Um, 
And in other uh, part of that news, another thing that seemed to be in correlation with this, but not directly, is the two water mains in the intersecting of North Orange Street and North 2nd Street and North 3rd Street are leaking and require replacement. The Montana Department of Transportation currently constructing a roundabout at the Orange Street interchange. This amendment would allow for the replacement of a leaky water mains in conjunction with the street reconstruction work coordinates. Um, the water main and the roadway work would save money because the city would not uh, have to dig up the roadway at a later date and would and would maintain the integrity of the new road surface. Uh, the funding request includes a cost of, for, of construction, Montana Department of Transportation, indirect cost recovery, and approximately 15% contingency fee to address any issues that they may arise during construction. Um, other than that, the city's admin finance meeting is today this afternoon. That's pretty much the only thing that's happening in terms of committee meetings. Um, we're not having any kind of major uh, city council meeting that's happening on Monday. Um, so basically because it's the fifth Monday of the month um, and all and also it's Memorial Day why would you have a, a any government open on Memorial Day it's it's ludicrous um, but that's basically what's happening in and around Missoula if I missed anything I missed something because you know I can't talk about everything it's only an hour show but of course I only use like 40 minutes of it but it's fine I, I kind of like to leave a little, leave a little wiggle, wiggle room for uh, the rest of the day. So enjoy the rest of your day and um, enjoy a bunch of the programs that will be airing on MCAT this week. And I'll have all your weekend programs and what's happening this weekend uh, and for Wake Up Missoula. I'm Scott Ramp. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. <laughs> mm -hmm.